at Pan Pan, we use this kind of engine for plow the land to pump water to move things a lot. This is very useful diesel engine, but to use diesel oil, it costs a lot of money. Mainly, we have been using leftover or used oil, cooking oil from the kitchen to turn into biodiesel. We use this engine for a long, long time. It works a lot. It helps us to save a lot of money every month. Because we used to pump water, we used to plow the land, we used for many, many things. It's very useful way. At Pan Pan community, we have quite many people here. About 20 people minimum stay together. Every day we do a lot of cooking and we have a lot of used oil like this. Leftover oil. We collect them, all of them and then let them sit until it's more it clear, it's settled. And then we take the clear oil, 10 liters, put in the container like this and boil them. We boil them until the temperature rise up to between 55 to 60. But some people, they boil up up to 45 to 50 but we always do 55 to 60. When we got the right temperature we took it down from the stove and then we keep it there. Then we will prepare the next ingredient that we need for the process. Then we need two liters of methyl alcohol Methyl alcohol, you cannot drink it, but we can use for making biodiesel. We need 2,000 milliliters, it's about 2 liters. That's what we need. When we got 2 liters of methyl alcohol, the next thing we need 50 grams of sodium hydroxide or potassium hydroxide. 50 grams and we are going to mix the sodium hydroxide into methyl alcohol. For safety reason, we always add sodium hydroxide into liquid, but we don't add liquid into dry sodium hydroxide. It can explode. Then we stir them to make sodium hydroxide dissolve in the two liters of methyl alcohol. Stir for a while because it takes a little bit of time to dissolve it because it's quite hard to dissolve in the liquid. After sodium hydroxide totally dissolved, we pour in the hot oil. The oil have to be, the temperature of the oil have to be about 50 to 55 Celsius. That's the perfect amount for us here. We stir, keep stirring it. This is the simple technique that we use here. We stir by hand. Many people, they use machine to help to stir, but we don't want to invest that much. We just stir by hand like this for a while. All our tools, we use what we have here. We use can to boil and to mix. We use wooden wood to stir it. This is what we got in this area. Stir for a while, at least about 15 minutes up to half an hour to stir like this. After we stir for a while until it look quite clear, that's good enough. And then we will pour in another container. So this container we designed by ourselves. We use a drinking water bottle. And then we put the valve at the bottom of this container. So we let it sit here at least one day. It's good to be in the sun. When it's very hot, it can 
separate between the biodiesel and glycerin will separate very fast when it's hot, but when it's cool, it takes longer time. So the glycerin will settle at the bottom of the tank, and then the biodiesel will be on the top. You can see it turn more clear on the top after that. After we leave it for one day, one night, you can see it's separate. The black part of in the bottom, that's glycerin. The top part is biodiesel that we got. This is the perfect sign. So we will separate it after that. The way we separate it, we going to turn on the valve at the bottom here. Really slowly, not turn on all the way immediately. Just turn on a little bit and then the glycerin will be pushed out slowly, easily. It's become like a sticky, muddy, black stuff like this. When the liquid comes out more clear, that means all the glycerin was finished. So we need to turn off very quick after that. So we will not waste a lot of biodiesel. Then we wash it with no more water from the host. We just add a lot of water in there. This is the way we wash glycerin, leftover glycerin that mix in the biodiesel. We wash it and then let it sit another days, another few days. The glycerin will settle again, and then we can take it out again and wash it again. The same time, the same way. Just add more water. At least three to four times, we will get the very clear biodiesel after that. This is the simple way that we use it here. We use it for many years here. Biodiesel is one way to make our own energy in the farm. This is biodiesel. After we wash it with water for four times, it looks clear and clean like this. This is the end product for us. This is what we use quite a lot in the farm. We use with tractor, we use with pickup trucks, we use with many kind of diesel engine. It works very well and is one way to decrease the garbage in our life. We use garbage turn to energy. We love biodiesel because we can save money every month. We can do something good for environment and we can be ourselves. We can rely on ourselves more 